This video is about extracting information from inside the value in a column using tidier. And we're starting where we left off the last lesson, where we've taken some wide raw data and we've made it longer by moving the column names into one column and the values into another. But now in our stem column, we really want this to be the numbers one, two, three, four, and five, but they're stuck together with this column information that says tree girth one. And to get out this number without the other information, we're going to use the extract function. And so we'll add this to our data cleaning pipeline with a pipe. And the extract function takes four arguments, just like other dplyr and tidier functions. The first is the data frame that we're going to be working with that's already being piped in. The second is the column name that we want to extract information from and we put that in the stem column. So that's what we want to extract information from is the stem column. The third argument is the names of the new columns. That's going to be one or more new columns that we want to extract that information into. We're only extracting a number, so we only need one column. So we'll call it stem. And what this will do is it will actually replace the current column, because it's already named stem, with our new value. If we wanted to keep the old column, we could call this something else. And then finally, we provide this function something called a regular expression. And a regular expression is a way of identifying strings that match a particular pattern and in our case telling the computer what part of the string we want to extract. And so these will come in the form of a string so we put it inside of quotes and then we're going to specify the parts of the string that are the same and so we're going to say tree girth because Every one of our values includes T-R-E-E-G-I-R-T-H. And then we've got always one character, but that character varies and we want to match it no matter what it is. And so we specify that using a dot in regular expression. That says one value. And that's the value that we want to keep and so to keep it, we enclose it in parentheses. This is called a group in regular expressions. And so this basically says, find all of the values where we start with tree growth, and then there's any character, in this case a number that comes after it, and then extract that value and store it in the stem column. And so now if we go back to our clean data frame, we've got just the stem values that we want out. But we can see that these numbers are still on the left-hand side of this column, unlike our other numbers, which are on the right-hand side of the column. And that's because these are actually still stored as characters, because we extracted them from a character string. And we can fix that by adding an optional argument to export, which is convert, and we can set that equal to true. And we can see uh, that this is now uh, on the right hand side, and so it's actually numbers, and we can do the kinds of things that we would do with numbers with this data. So that's the basic idea behind how to extract data where we have multiple pieces of information in a column. 
we can use uh, the extract function, provide it the column that we want to extract from, the column name that we want to store the results in, and then a regular expression to indicate which piece of the column we want to extract using parentheses. And then if it's numeric data of some kind, we often want to run convert equals true so that uh, it will actually come back as a number instead of coming back as a string version of that number.